Hey guys, this is what I'm looking at today. This is a HP Pavilion laptop. It's a 14 inch. I'll put the model at the start of the video. Um, this belongs to a friend of mine. Her thesis was due in yesterday. And I got a phone call on Wednesday to say that this is what she was seeing. This sort of thing always happens, you know, a few days before your thesis is meant to be handed in. It never happens the day after. But obviously she got quite a shock when she turned on her laptop to see this. So I, when I was on the phone with her, I said, this doesn't look good. This could be like a graphic card or motherboard failure or something. So what I got her to do was to plug in an external monitor. So I got her to get a HDMI cable. Um, plug in to the port on the side and thankfully when she did that it proved that the laptop itself was actually working so when we have the situation like this um, the issue is usually with the screen or the cable or possibly the some sort of graphic element on the board but she was able to get her work from the laptop get the report in and i now have the laptop here to have a look at so these are quite common in the home consumer market they are sold in places like curries and things like that so i'm going to plug back out this cable here as you can see i already have the bezel off to get a look at it so this is another one of these screens here where you you know they're no longer held in with screws and unfortunately what you need to do is you need to pull out the tape that's the white tape that's here and the white tape that's here in order to take the screen out but what i did find first of all i reseated the cable on the back so disconnect the battery reseat the lvds cable on the motherboard that didn't do anything what i noticed was when i was moving the screen uh removing the you know remove uh, sorry just moving it up and down on the hinges that it seemed to affect it so what i did was this so just in case anybody else has the same issue with their own laptop this is the lvds cable in here that you can see with the writing on it i'll zoom in as quick as i can or as close as i can so that is it right here so what i did was i got my screwdriver and i simply press on it right here and watch very closely so i'm lightly pressing on that look so I'm pressing, let go, pressing, let go, pressing, let go, pressing, oh, pressing. So if I press and hold it there, it stays on. So it appears that our issue today is we need a new LVDS cable. Now, I'm going to see if I can order one of these online. And I'm going to swap it out. And see if that permanently resolves the issue. I'm not sure what caused that because there is a bit of protection on the front of it. Like the bezel sits over it here. But somehow right there on that connection is where our fault is occurring. So that's all that I'm going to do with this one. It looks like a pretty cut and dried issue with the LVDS cable. I'm going to replace it and I'm going to give it back to the customer. Thanks for watching.